Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making a door hanger for Valentine's Day, essentially a giant heart. Two piece, real easy project, limited supplies, a drill, a jigsaw, and a hot glue gun on my end. My wife will be assisting me today with some of the decorations. Let's get started. Now what you start with is a basic design. There's not much to this. I found the idea on Pinterest, or actually my wife did. I tried several times to freehand it, and eventually just had the wife do it. Um, I'd recommend using foam board to cut it out. That way, you can, if you're using a bandsaw, you can figure out your angles a little easier. Poster board will be fine. I'm planning on making some more of these, so I just use hardboard as a template. Now I don't know if the camera will show it or not, but you can see where I tried several times to do this shape. Before I get started, I'd like to point out that the most important is that these two points, if you're gluing them together, need to be the exact same size. I'm going to use a permanent marker. I'm using half inch MDF today. I have a couple of pieces of it on hand and it's easy to work with. And I'll do another one for the other side and then we'll just cut them out. Now once both sections have been laid out. I'm going to use a step bit up in these corners to help drill a relief hole. You can use a spade bit, it really doesn't matter. This can be done on the bandsaw. I'm going to just use a jigsaw today. It's actually just as easy as anything. Now, a relief hole just simply makes it easier if you get in a bind, kind of to have an easy out. Now I'll just clamp that in place and begin drilling. Now the good thing with securing it to your table with pipe clamps or quick clamps is it lets you see where the end of your table is and it'll keep you from cutting into it. I'm just going to slowly start trimming off pieces. I got a little outside my lines, but this design, I don't think it's going to hurt nothing. Now I'm going to sand and smooth off these edges and then take them to my wife to paint. I'm not going to connect them just yet. It'll just make it easier to work with. Now I'd like to have rounded these edges off just a little bit to ease them up, but the wife wants to keep them sharp. Creative differences. But I'd love to hear anybody's opinion of what they thought should have been done on it. Cutting the other section just like this, I'll do it and we'll move on. Alright, we've got to cut out. Now you notice it's not like perfectly symmetrical around here, little different sizes, kind of a Tim Burton thing. But it's a decoration. It's made to catch your eye. I've got my wife Janine helping me today. She is really good with a lot of colors and craft work. She's going to paint these in two different sections and then we're going to hot glue them together. So we've got to protect this little section down here where I'll be joining it. i get that sped out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. 
And what we've done is just use a little painter's tape there, that way we'll leave the nice crisp edge. The craft paint will provide a nice coating here. If you're not careful, the hot glue will stick to it and then it'll peel and break off. So we just don't put no craft paint on that. Doing a wide surface like this, a wide brush just makes the job a little quicker. It usually takes what, about two coats? Mm -hmm. MDF though, the paint's really good, so it may do it with one coat. Results may vary with the craft paint you got, the brand. Now something that's important that we kind of overlooked here, if you paint the edges first, you don't have to handle them and get as much paint on you. But it's live and learn. We've done it for a while and mistakes happen to everybody. And there you have it, one coat. Hopefully the first, I mean it does vary. Get this out of the way. Now this go around we'll get the edges done first, that way we don't have to touch it nearly as much. Now you really can't see it on camera. The red, we're probably going to be good with just one coat. The white, looks like we're going to have to go over it with a second coat. And then we'll start some of the decoration. After your paint has dried, which I've got backwards here, what we're going to do is hot glue it. Wood glue will work, but this particular shape is going to be a booger to clamp. And I really don't care for wood glue on MDF. So I'm just going to hot glue it. I'll join the two pieces like this. I'll have the fronts facing me and I'll actually push them to the back. That way any squeeze out will go to the back where it won't be seen. Now I've taped up the ends to make certain there's no craft paint or very little on them. One solid line. And that's plenty solid enough. Join them up. And then you just kind of got to sit here for a minute and hold it till it cools. Okay, we've got our base coat on there. Before we decorate, we're going to drill some holes to run some of the decoration through later on. This way, if I mess up any of the paint, we can go ahead and touch it up. Right at the top. Come down just a hair. Yeah, right about there. I'm just going to take some lace, just some extra lace that I have left over from another project. I'm just going to stuff it through here. Just 
don't touch those paints. There we go. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot. As you can see, I've left this plenty long. You can decide where you want to hang it, which door you want to hang it, or and then just tie it in a knot. And if you want a bow, you can put a bow in it. Leave that hanger, cut that off, whichever you prefer. All right, there you have it. A nice, simple project. A little bit of time on the weekend, not much. Now, this is, of course, inside my shop. It'll be on a front door, uh, protected by a storm door. Now, if you're just putting it on a door outside with no protection, you'll need to put a sealer on it. When using craft paints, I have found that if you take a spray-on sealer and apply literally less than a regular coat and let it dry and just put a few coats on like that, you'll protect it just fine. It's an affordable decoration, has a unique look, and it's an eye-catcher. That does it for this episode. I'm going to try to kick one more Valentine's decoration episode out this week. Um, any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear. Thanks for taking time to watch our video. Please subscribe.